Okay, we are going to listen to one of our top agents here close a live transfer sale. She handles this perfectly from the begin from the greeting all the way through, handles objections in the beginning, and carries through this entire presentation with a lot of confidence. So let's go. Thank you for calling Senior Life Services. My name is... Who am I speaking with today? Hello. Hello. My name Hi. is Alex. And I have here... And she would like to check a code from lowest to highest. So I'll let you take it from here. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. You have a great day. Thank you. Hi. My name is... How are you doing today, ma'am? I'm doing fine. Good. And do you currently have any life insurance in place or prepaid bureau program? Yes, I do. All right. My and were you, all paid for. Gotcha. And were you just looking to compare prices or were you looking for additional coverage? Well, the guy called and he said I could get some more coverage. I don't, I'm not really looking for any. Okay. If I provided you an affordable life insurance coverage, would you consider it? Yes, I was considering it, but I, I'm on a fixed income. Okay, so you hear the lady. She doesn't want to admit that she wants insurance. So this happens a lot, guys, with live transfers and leads. They just don't want to tell us that they have insurance. You could kind of hear in Chris's voice the way that she handled this. So what happened was, like, the lady asked if we have insurance. If the, the, she got transferred over. She sat on the phone with someone for three to five minutes in the Philippines who was telling them about life insurance. If she really didn't have any interest at all, she wouldn't have hung on the phone. She just doesn't want to tell us, yeah, I'm looking at ad coverage. She's hesitant because she doesn't want to get taken advantage of. Most of the clients that you run into, they're going to be scared in the first little bit of the phone call. So she handled it perfectly. She got right into, do you have any existing coverage or not? Because in a live transfer, you want to qualify them very, very quickly right from the beginning so that you don't get billed for the live transfer. Do you have, coverage, do you have coverage or not? Would you, be, would you consider adding a policy if I found you an affordable option? All right. And um, are you currently paying anything right now for your life insurance? Yes. All right. And how much are you currently paying? $25 a month. Gotcha. Okay. And how long ago did you get that coverage? I got it about five years ago. Okay. So five years ago. All right. And let's see. And how much coverage do you currently have right now? 10000 Just 10000 All right. And if you were looking for additional coverage, how much um, additional are you looking for? Probably a term policy. Maybe to end yeah, the ten thousand for each one of my kids. Gotcha. Okay. And um, now, can you please confirm your date of birth? Three eight nineteen fifty two. Nice. And just so I can figure out what you would qualify. So what she went into? Have any health conditions? So what she's trying to do immediately right now is be like, okay. Why is this person's insurance so cheap? She's trying to bring her through the presentation as well, qualifier and quota. She's like, why would her policy be so cheap, right? $25, that $25 for 10K is probably term. Such as heart, liver, kidney, lung issues. I have kidney failure. Kidney failure, okay. I'm in a high three to a low four. I'm sorry, repeat that again. My kidney failure is a high three to a low four in the oh. stages. Gotcha. All right. And how long ago were you diagnosed with the kidney failure? About 10 years ago. Okay. 10 years ago. All right. Anything else besides the kidney failure? Um, I have a cyst on my brain. Six. It's on the pituitary gland. All right. And how long ago were you diagnosed with that? I was diagnosed about five years ago. Five years ago. Okay. And did it clear? Did they um, do a surgery on you? No. The no. doctor said just leave it as it is, as long as I am. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, anything else um, besides the kidney failure and the cyst in the brain? No. No. Oh. no. Gotcha. And um, are you currently on dialysis? No, not yet. No, okay, all right. Thank God. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And uh, what about, um, have you ever? So important question here, guys, when someone is has a kidney issue. The woman said she had a kidney problem, kidney failure, uh, same as kidney disease. You want to, no, it's not same as kidney disease. It's, it's, it's a form of it, though. There's a gray line there. But bottom line, you want to ask if they have dialysis, if they're on dialysis, because that could prompt guaranteed issue. However, Prosperity has a product called Prime Term 
that takes dialysis and they pay much higher than Gerber or your guaranteed issue would. Had cancer, heart attack, stroke, COPD, no. diabetes, none of that, okay. Um, um, the doctor said I have asthma. Asthma, okay. And how long ago were you diagnosed with asthma? Uh, about a year ago. A year ago, okay. And are you currently on oxygen or just an inhaler? No, just inhaler. Inhaler, okay. Anything else? No, that's all. That's all right. And what is your height and weight? I'm five foot one, and then weigh about one ninety four. One ninety four, okay. And are and you into bathing? Yeah. Hmm? No, I don't smoke and I don't drink. Okay. I'm around it all the time, but I don't. I don't do it myself. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And uh, you did mention unless you would call. Unless you would call human spontaneous combustion as a medical problem. Um, are you taking medications for that? No. No. Okay. All right. Um, anything else would you consider as a pre-existing? No. None. Okay. Good. No. Um, now, some of our carriers do offer a discount based on how you manage your finances. I don't need any specifics right now, but do you have an active checking or savings account? An active checking. An active checking, okay. So just based on the information you provided me, you're going to qualify for a whole life policy. Whole life meaning it's a permanent life insurance coverage. The rates are fixed, meaning you never have to worry about prices going up. Also, you're building cash value to it. God forbid something happens to you, you become terminally ill. They're actually going to advance you that life insurance benefit while you're still living and you never have to pay for your life insurance ever again. You can also use it as an income replacement and um, the, the claims are paid within 48 hours. Now, do you okay. have a pen and paper so you can write this down too as well? Just a moment. Sure thing. Take your time. Okay, I have a pen and paper. All right. Now go ahead and write these numbers down. Um, I'm going to start with 10,000. So write down 10,000. Eight. So she's going right into it, going right for the quotes. Thousand, and then 5,000. So for the. Now this is her style. Within 10 minutes, she's quoting and closing the deal. She's really good. She builds tone. She builds rapport through the tone of her voice. She maintains enthusiasm, excitement. She can tell bottled enthusiasm. She's confident talking to the client. She gets all the information and goes for the close quick, especially a live transfer. For her, that's her style. It's not everyone's style. Everybody's got a different way of doing it. Now, I advise you out there, if you're listening to this and you're like, I can do that, just be careful because not every agent can go in and, and do it the way that she does it. But this is an awesome job. $10,000 coverage, the monthly premium, is $90 a month. For the $8,000 coverage, is $73 a month. And the $5,000 coverage is $47 a month. Now, out of the three options, which option best fits your needs? Okay. Um, I think I could go for the, for the $90. The ninety dollars, okay. So another thing with this right. policy, we still got to get approved for the policy, so it's not guaranteed. It's not one of those guaranteed issue. So what they do is they okay. do a medical background to make sure that you're actually qualified for the plan. Um, after you get right. approved for the policy, then you can either accept the policy and you get to pick the effective date. So you have a choice to either you know pick a future date or if you want to start it right away as soon as you get approved, we can do that too as well. Um, the main point is. Okay. Okay. that you can start it whenever you feel like you're ready to start it. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Um, now, what we can do today, Mary, we can go ahead and fill out an application, see if you're going to get approved first for the policy. After you get approved, okay. then you get to pick the effective date. Um, now, I just want to confirm, is Mary, Mary is your legal first name? Mary Lou is my first name. Oh, Mary Lou. Okay. So l let me yeah. just confirm. Um, and that's two words. 
Okay, cool. So here she goes in, she gets the information that they need for the application. So that agent did an awesome job with closing that sale. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to listen to another live transfer by another agent here closing another sale. Let's go. Good afternoon. This is Nate. Yes, good afternoon, Hello. Nate. This is Alex. And I have here Mr. 71 non-smoker would like to check a quote from five to 50,000. So thank you, Nate. Thank you. You both have a great day. Thank you. Absolutely. And how you doing, buddy? You having a good day? Uh, pretty good. That's good. I can hear it in your tone. You're having a good day. <laughs> so I like to hear. Is today one of your relaxing days? I'm retired, yeah. Oh. So Nate here, who's on this call right now, he does very, very well here. He has more of a slow burn approach to the sale where he puts the bun in the oven. He lets it grow, lets it roast. And he likes to build the relationship a little more before going in for the close. Okay. Well, you know, some people, they say retirement isn't what it's cooped up to be. You still work, but I bet that's different from person to person. Yeah, I miss, I miss working. That, well, at least you do miss it. What do you used to do? Uh, X-ray check. Oh, at okay. A for 29 years. Wow. Well, tell me then, how much is it? I'm sure they're expensive, man. Do you know how much <laughs> one of those machines costs? Um, couple of mil, I believe. Oh my. <laughs> So this is cool. So Nate really likes building relationships with his, with his clients and getting to know them. So if you feel like this is more your style, then you can approach it like this too. You can talk to your clients, get to know them, make a friend, build a relationship with them. You know, Nate may take longer to make the sale, but I would be surprised if Nate did not have a higher percentage of people stay on the books because they know him and they're just more comfortable and they, they just don't have, there's less of a chance of buyer's remorse or anything like that. And also there's less of a chance of a replacement if someone goes in and offers a cheaper policy because they're paying for Nate, not necessarily the just the coverage. And then you hit me with the M. Not that either method is right or wrong, okay? There's, there's, they're both amazing agents. I, I uh, retired in 2009 just when the uh, uh, MRI and uh, they were using the CT more often mm -hmm. and the MRI was just coming in. Okay. And I, I just mainly did the routine and I, uh, uh -huh. I worked uh, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday the day shift, 8 to 4.30, and then on the weekends I worked 3 to 11. But I was used to working weekends because I worked my way through x-ray school mm -hmm. and oh, wow. several years of college by working in a grocery store. Now, in the grocery store, you always work the weekends. Oh, yeah. And in the hospital business, nobody likes to work weekends. So All I right. have paid extra money, quite Good. a bit extra money, for working those 29 years Saturday and Sunday, and the night shift got paid extra. So that's the reason I was hired, and uh, I stuck with it. That's good. You were smart. Mm -hmm. And when I got on up the chain of command, if I wanted to, I could get people to work uh, my holidays, or I could work those Monday uh, government holidays, and... Uh, well, if the holiday fell on Monday, I, my holiday would be on Wednesday. So I got that three days, Mon uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off. Wow. So I could work it and uh, get the holiday pay. So. Sweet, man. You were smart. Still. So this is perfect. So you, you see how this guy, like, just wants to talk about his whole life to Nate? Now, what he has to do here at some point is he has to bring him back into the presentation. He has to get him back on to the sale itself or else the guy may just keep going into the other, another planet. This is how I handle live transfers. 
if when I sell transfers, this is how I handle them. I take it, I build a relationship, I get a conversation going for a little bit, and then I move into the close. And by the end of the call, people feel really comfortable with me, and it's almost like they're they're buying it. All of them. Uh, and being that the VA was not a trauma center. It was kind of uh, quiet around there on Saturday and Sunday. There were, I had a partner, and we were the only ones that took x-rays. And uh, we didn't have a supervisor. I was, uh, I guess, acting supervisor. I was the only one that was registered. He was trained in the service, but uh, mm -hmm. I would put him up against me any old day. <laughs> I, was I was trained at... Uh, University of Tennessee nice. here in Memphis. Very nice. But, uh, well, that's awesome, man. You lived a good life. Still living yeah. a good life, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, the uh, the benefits were good. And once after you worked there uh, six years, you got. Every two weeks, you'd get uh, four hours of sick leave and six hours of annual leave, vacation time. But my health was not that good, you know. So I used mm -hmm. my vacation time for sick leave. I you know, see. Going to the doctor and that kind of thing, taking off with bronchitis and pneumonia and operations and this kind of thing, you know. So I didn't get... Uh, too much vacation as such, but I w one of the benefits was you were able to use your uh, vacation time. You were able to convert it to sick leave and get paid for it. In your case, so, that was the smartest decision you could have made. Right. That's that's the reason I stuck with them. And being that I was registered and my partner was not registered. Mm -hmm. He had to stay there, and me being registered, I could This guy is going a, off with it. A private hospital, but I didn't want to because was, that Saturday and Sunday was quiet, and I, you know, we could sit around and watch television for about half the show, you know, and patients mm -hmm. would come in, and we'd take care of them, go back to watching television, you know, and that kind of stuff. Very and nice. We were right across from the emergency room, so we would help them out with odd jobs and we would help security out and that kind of thing you know right that's awesome yeah but yeah you clearly had a good time and and that's awesome you know no yeah, regret it was always interesting to go to work on saturday and sunday because you never knew what to expect <laughs> there you go i'm sure you've seen a lot of madness going on in there <laughs> yeah well that keeps everything interesting, right? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, okay, Stephen. My name was Nate again. Um, Here we go. Transitioning back in. I'm now. one of the ma now he's transitioning back in. Managers at my agency. We got connected because that one. He's not a manager yet, but he will be someday. But he's saying that to show authority. Point you were wondering what you can find in your state that you can leave behind in coverage to maybe a loved one. Yes. Great. Uh, I waited until I was 50, till I got married, and my wife did too. This this was our first marriage. We've been married uh, 21 years. I'm 71. Wow. Very nice. Very Responds nice. Responds with nice. praise to everything she and says. So, praise. Now, this kind of coverage, is it going to your wife? Or yeah. is it going? Okay. I figured because... Of course, you brought that up, and that's awesome. 21 years, that's that's not... I mean, there's a lot of long marriages, but they're all very, very respectable in their own right. Because they're all long years, <laughs> especially this generation. I don't know if they'd be able to handle something like that. Yeah. <laughs> he has uh, seven... Uh... Her, her nieces and nephews have, uh, to get all together, they have seven 
We call them our grandkids. They're her sister's grandkids, so they have okay. two, two sets of grand grandparents, and she helps watch them uh, while their parents work, and that way their their parents don't have to pay for daycare. You know, like good guy. Care can be outrageous. It's incredible. You don't it's know much. what kind of care. You don't know what kind of care they're getting. And they exactly. all just love her to death. And uh, she's gone quite a bit during the day. You know, she gets up early in the morning and goes and uh, picks them up, takes them to one central house and uh, watches them. And with school starting, she'll be taking them to school and picking them up. And they're all, they range from kindergarten to the uh, we've got a couple of seniors this year, so they're just different ages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's so, nice. Uh, you we, guys are. I'm I'm mm -hmm. kind of I kind of enjoy my independence. Very uh, nice. Here, you know, by myself, I do have a uh, dog, my little baby. <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? Uh, mixed breed. Uh, she's mm, about two feet tall. She can't sit in a chair with me. That's, I had a Boston Terrier before her. Oh, okay. And uh, she, she lasted 15 years. And she, she always likes to get up in the chair in my recliner with me and go to sleep, you know, and I could sit there and watch television for a few hours. And she'd be, he would be sleeping uh, just sound asleep you know and of course he snored a little bit <laughs> <laughs> i was i was uh sad it was a sad day when he passed away you know but uh right i was hoping this one wouldn't get so big we we kind of rescued him he was hit in uh by a car in the street and uh my niece found him and and uh uh called my wife and my wife went and uh, they this took guy loves talking told the vet situation that it was a, a good Samaritan you know and the vet didn't charge you know mm -hmm. they uh, were very uh, understanding and uh, she just got minor scrapes luckily and uh, Sandy told the vet that we were just going to keep her her until we uh, until she got better she she hurt her leg oh, okay uh, we we're gonna keep her in the room we and take her to the, to the pound and find somebody who wanted well when sandy walked in with her uh she was she was the exact see these types family. of people sometimes you got to keep them on the presentation I was, uh, living with my parents so gotcha that dog that dog had found a home you know that's that's fantastic, man. I love that kind of stuff. Uh huh. Okay, so do you have any pets? I do. I have a mix. He is a mix of a border collie and a blue healer, but he takes uh -huh. over the border collies, one hundred percent. Uh huh. I tell I tell you what, you can put just as much into a full bred and into a mixed breed that you can love them just as much. And mm -hmm. that cost you uh, a right fortune. now a Boston Terrier that we got for four hundred dollars about uh, twenty years ago. She's asking eleven $1 hundred dollars for a Boston Terrier. Right oh now. my goodness! And that that is outrageous, you know. That's a lot, yeah. I like I like my my ginger. We just take good care of her, and of course. Vet bills, you know, you, if they get worms or something. They I don't know how he ended up on this conversation. <laughs> kind of stuff, but you have to take care of them for right. them live a, a happy life, you know. That's right. That's right. Yeah, man, I, I can, I love dogs. I could talk dogs all day long. Um, okay, real quick, real quick. So this is going to your wife, right? Um, right. Uh, do you have something in place already, or is this something a little extra you're thinking for? This would be a little extra. 
when I left the uh, VA hospital, I carried a uh, 75000 life insurance. comes out okay. of my pension. Right. I know there's many, many plans that you can do it that way, and you don't have to technically come out of pocket, though it does come out of uh, pension. Uh-huh. So, okay, great. And that's very smart of you. you. You did it early while you could, and it's not really detrimental to your pockets. Um, so, okay, this is extra. This is how I can help you out, Stephen, okay? So I'm an insurance broker. What I do on a day-to-day -day basis is help families who usually, usually only get Social Security back into it. or disability income. They're not making so, so much. So that was There's 13 also minutes into the call. Yourself. That was 13 minutes into the call, so that might get pension or there's other people that might work a little bit on the side that way social security can continue to pay them um, and they have that little extra cash and that's okay but the point is that I can always find the most affordable in your state because I do and I'm capable of looking at many different companies depending on age and health is what depends on which one is best for you okay so I'm just gonna ask you very few simple health questions Okay. Awesome. So, this one's easy. What would you say your height and your best weight is? My height, 5'9", and my weight is 285. 285? Uh-huh. Not bad, buddy. Okay, and are you... Now, when we got connected, I think they mentioned that you were a non smoker you don't do any tobacco use no very uh, good like I said I was an I was an x-ray check and I looked at many many bones <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly I figured that was the case that that made a little bit more sense when I started hearing what you used to work for and things like that I was like okay he probably seen some bad stuff there <laughs> I I cannot I like to go to the casinos every once in a while and I cannot stand okay. to, be, to be around people who smoke even if I get a good machine you know you yeah go to the casinos yeah uh-huh they give you free drinks my wife won four, they'll bring it right to you <laughs> 400 uh-huh yeah wow and then I was I went to uh, a new one and I put a $20 bill in and then I put turned it Turned it into 150. We, we play wow. with painting machines. So some yeah, I do the same thing. I do the same. So, I can't play and, too big. Um, <laughs> uh huh. Why? And I got it up to 150 dollars, and I played it down. I was playing on their money. And when I got down to 80 dollars, uh, I cashed out, mm -hmm. and that was enough to take me and my wife to Red Lobster. You know. Very nice. Yes. So we went to Red Lobster on uh, the casino. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, that's something that you didn't even have to worry about. That was money you never had, and you were able to get a free free dinner out of it, so so to speak. Right. Uh-huh. Very nice. Yeah, I went to the casino before. I'm just like you. I play the pennies because they do drain your money like nobody's business. Uh-huh. I, I don't do too bad on the quarter machine either. Right. So one line or two lines or something like that, you know, mm -hmm. because the penny machines can get expensive these days. They have, they have changed, let's see, over 10 years, they have really changed. It's, it's been, I stopped going for about 10 years, and here recently I started going back. See, okay. my dad is 91 years old. And we just lost my mother about uh, two months ago. And mm -hmm. he lives in a great big house. And he was in real estate back when it really was booming. And he invested his money very good. He lo he owns land with trees on it, uh, probably about 400 acres. Mm -hmm. And he's worth about uh, two and a half mil. His health is very, very poor. He's got a pacemaker. His legs are swollen. And about 
three weeks ago. He got all. He's got four sons. He got all of us together, and he had written a will, mm. but it wasn't the way he wanted it. So he got all of us together, and we sat down and got in agreement with him and helped him write his will. Mm. So, Very nice. you know, two and a half, two and a half mil uh, goes a long way with four boys. And he's going to leave me a big uh, house in a great neighborhood that's about, what we're living in right now is about uh, let's see, it, his property is in a neighborhood. The property values are 10 times better, if not more, uh, than what we have. And he had no idea what his house was worth. Nor did he have any idea what his, he calls it his farm. What it is is a tree farm. He let them go in there and cut cut out some timber, and on the condition that they replant pine trees. Mm-hmm. You know, he sold them the timber, but they had to replant pine trees. But those pine trees are not going to be harvestable for another twenty years. You know. Right. Right. So he doesn't you know we could the four of us have to agree on when we sell the farm you know or you know i hear you this uh, guy he has a an agreement with the government not to grow certain things on there and to grow trees you know they pay him it pays the Property taxes. You ever heard anything like that? Something like that, yeah. Something like uh-huh. that. I'm not all too familiar, they, but I have heard. They they pay him to keep it, you know, rather than them going there and just cut down the trees, strip it, you know, and not uh, replant and uh, uh, have soil erosion and that kind of thing. I've got... Besides my X-ray training, I got I got about a three year, three years of college, and I have a two year biology degree and an associate's degree. So you know, yeah, stripping the land would not benefit anybody. It would it would harm. Uh, it would be more harmful in the long run, and there are deer. In there, my bro- I've got two brothers that love to hunt deer. They'll go up. Oh man, this guy just talks about everything. So this is where you see there's two different. Ty- there's, we have. Di- I mean, there's many different types of clients. You get some that are that are like, they'll talk about anything forever, and you get some who are just like right down to business. So and every, every agent's got a different selling style. Nate does end up closing this guy. We're gonna keep listening here. If you're enjoying it, great. If you want to fast forward through it, that's fine too. All I can do is save you money, right? Uh huh. Okay, so real quick, um, you're not a smoker, which is great. Have you ever had any issues with your heart, liver, kidney, or lungs? Uh, my heart. I've got high blood pressure. I see a cardiologist. He's got me on medication. Mm-hmm. Uh, I For high blood pressure, heart palpitations, high blood pressure, high blood pressure. I have diabetes. I have epilepsy. Okay. Last year on June twenty fourth, my uh, left kidney, uh, a urologic surgeon removed a cyst from mm-hmm. my left kidney, and it was cancer. He got it all. He said. And, Very good. Uh, Very good. Pro- uh, about six weeks ago, I had uh, prostate surgery. Okay. And I've had uh, 
stricture surgery down in my general area, you know. Mm -hmm. And I have kidney infections every once in a while. Kidney infections? Oh my God. Uh -huh. And I have asthma. I have uh, sleep apnea. Okay. And at night, at night, I use, I use a like CPAP. Like a CPAP? Okay. And he, the pulmonary doctor has got me on oxygen with the CPAP only at night. So see, gotcha. I'm a special patient. And right now my legs and feet are swollen, which the cardiologist mm -hmm. is treating me with a fluid pill. Okay, is that hydrochlorothiazide? Is it uh, furosemide? Torsemide, those are those are pills that help with water retention. Torsemide is uh, uh, probably sounds very familiar. Yeah. Torsemide, it's uh, it's used and for high blood pressure. Uh huh. Yeah, he's been working with my blood pressure medicine too. Good. So we know that torsemide you have to help control high blood pressure and keep the water retention on your legs and feet. Uh-huh. And I see a specialist, an endocrine doctor for my diabetes. Mm hmm Now, for diabetes, do you take um, medication like pills or injections or both? Uh, just injections right now. I take Novolog and Lantus. And Lantus, perfect. Epilepsy, what medication you use for epilepsy? Keppra? I know there's Copamax. Keppra. Copamax. Copamax, sorry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And my, my uh, uh, neurologist has, got, has kept me uh, from having a seizure for 15, 17 years. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, That's I amazing. got a hold of a good, good neurologist. Do you have you one hell of a neurologist? Them. That's for sure. Uh huh. That's for that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, I have. I was on Dilantin and Tegretol, and they just uh, wouldn't. We give it to you for free. Especially. Um, fully apnea uses CPAP. We give it to you for free. Um. A w final wishes planning guide. However you want this money to go or how you want it to be arranged, that's what that guide's for. And a prescription discount card that's going to have you help you save money on medications. I'm sure you're taking care of. I would not be surprised if you had something to take care of that. But this is a very strong plan B. It does save uh, a lot. I have uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield that I carried with me. I've had it since 1981. I carried Beautiful. it over from the VA. Beautiful. Blue Claws uh, Blue they, Shield they, is very good. They save me a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're very good. This is a strong plan B. It's just, you know, you can use it for your wife, you can use it for the grandkids, whatever, because it helps with vision and dental as well, okay? Uh-huh. Perfect. So now what I'm looking at is a company that I think is best for you in many reasons. One is going to save you money. Of course, that's all. That's what most of this is about. And two, for people who have oxygen use, for people who currently has cancer, who might have congestive heart failure, met things that these companies out here that will overcharge you still, but will decline you anyway for those reasons. This one does not worry about that kind of stuff, and it is very affordable. Um, it's called Gerber Life. You've ever heard of them before? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one that makes the baby food. <laughs> mm -hmm. But they have people, plans for children too. Yes, yes. M most people don't know that they also have very good guaranteed issue plans. And out of all the guaranteed issue plans, they save the most money. And so that's why I look at Gerber Life for specific plans versus everything else. 
Now, it's a whole life policy. It's permanent coverage. It's not going to increase rates at all. It's locked in as soon as you pay for it, right? So to speak, if you if you uh-huh. like... So oxygen use... So to speak, if you if you uh-huh. like it, you go with it, you pay for it, it never changes rates. There's Because there's companies that will do that to you. Um, so I don't look at that kind of stuff. It pays off the claims after passing away in 48 business hours. She has to make the claim, of course. But she can call me and I'll, I work for you guys. I'm an insurance broker, so I will always work for you guys. Um, but after the claim, she gets it in two days. Doesn't have to wait weeks or months. Because companies will do that. And I mean, that's the whole point. You want to make sure she gets it in time to take care of things and even for herself, right? So. Right. And I have a, I have a burial policy. I Very have nice. a burial plan that my dad uh, took care of years ago. And I paid on it. It's paid off. And Very nice. uh, I have a plot. And my wife has a plot. Very nice. Everything, you know, we're just, yeah. and a you lot guys are of people, prepared. you know, don't plan for this. You're absolutely right, and that's why I like speaking with people who just have their head on the, uh, they have a good head on their shoulders, because you guys know what's going on. People don't, don't think about it. Death ha- occurs with everybody. You just don't know when. And because it's not happening, people and like to away. Yeah, working in the emergency room, you don't know how aware I am of that. <laughs> yes, exactly, and I'm sure out of anybody you would know. So, okay, and there's many more benefits to this, okay? Cash value, some other benefits, but if I can manage to fit this in your budget, would this make sense to you and leaving some extra for your wife? Yeah, it sure would. Okay, do we need to talk to your wife about something like this, or is this something that she knows that she has uh, that you can handle? Well, she just came through here a minute ago. She brought me some. She came home from the kids and mm-hmm. made me some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> you like peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> I love peanut butter and jelly. Oh uh-huh. yeah. I tell you, I tell you what, it saves you a lot of money than going out to McDonald's or IHOP. You're you, that, you're exactly right, and I I'll hit you with a one better, the one that comes with two and one. I'm I still like it old school. I like peanut butter then the jelly, but there's also the tub mm-hmm. that has two and one. Depending how you're feeling, you That's can right. see that like that too. Uh huh. So we're on the same page here. I love peanut butter and jelly. Uh-huh. I can I can eat that and every I'll tell day. You what? Uh huh. You get a, if you can find a good waiter. Yeah, but then I'll give you two other. It's no problem. And from 15 to 25. So he quoted him here. $108 more for $10,000. Correct. He gave him a few options and asked which one is best Keep in mind. his need. This is the the lowest I can find it for you with the heart palpitations, diabetes, epilepsy, oxygen, the um, the cancerous cyst last year, which many companies will look at, and also the oxygen use. And that's where we're at. So when when will it go up? I mean, when I hit seventy five? No, it will never go up. I mean, that, mm-hmm. the if I were to wait, it, it'll go up. At, so no matter where you go, uh-huh. each age always adds more value so it's going to be more expensive as you get older as you said before this also you know is only exclusive 
when you can get it, right? Because we don't know what happens tomorrow or a week from now. Yeah. And you, I, I know very well. You're a very smart man, and you've been in the uh, medical line of business, and you, you know exactly how this goes. Which one popped out to you the most? The ten. Okay. Right now, but you know, once. I come into this inheritance, uh, you know, I'll have a whole lot of everything that changes. But right. And so you can write stuff so it's 15 years from now. You said well, I'll be 85 years old yeah. and nobody makes. Okay, now from this point on, he gets the information to complete the application. So there you go, guys. Two awesome live transfer sales. If you guys are working live transfers, then maybe one of them, one of their styles will fit you. If you would like uh, the script that I train agents on for live transfers, just send me an email at jve at djve.com. Also, if you look up right here, we are going to have other live sales calls that you can listen to. Please tune into them.